Okay, we're back here. <clears throat> I thought I was going to be able to do something sneaky and perhaps um, entrap the electronics. <clears throat> this is the main body frame, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do that, so <clears throat> please dis disregard what I said about uh, we're going to try to uh, veer around the uh, original instructions. We're pretty much going to follow them now. Uh, I see why, and I'll explain it to you here shortly. Uh, this is the bottom frame, and this is the top frame. Now, this is where direction comes into play. <clears throat> the bottom frame has a very small tab on it and I'm going to try to get in here so you can see it it's right above my finger that little tab right above my thumb is for the antenna and for all intensive purposes that little tab is going to be on the left side of the aircraft if you were standing behind it so you're looking at it you're standing behind it it's on your left alright now I'm looking at it it's still on my left the next thing I need to do is to install the driver boards and the main board into the frame. <clears throat> there are some slots. There's actually many slots. Um, there's additional boards that can go in this uh, vehicle later on down the road, so the engineers are thinking ahead. This is a very lightweight plastic frame. It's, uh, it will feel flimsy, but it gets it rigidity later on down the road. What we're going to do eventually is we're going to put a aluminum plate on top of it, and you're going to see that here shortly. So for the next process, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my boards, and I'm going to install them. Uh, I'm going to start left to right here, and I want to do this without cutting out, because I think it's important that you see you may end up with a little bit of difficulty here. It was probably one of the most uh, uh, stressful parts of this build. And I'll kind of show you why. So I'm going to take the first board and I'm going to lock it into place. <clears throat> and you're going to notice it's going to be a snug fit. So you might have to be, um, you might have to, you know, if this isn't child's play, you got to, you got to work on it a little bit. <clears throat> the center board is going to go in. If you notice, I put the center board just off to the left. I guess I just did this because it's kind of what I felt like doing. I guess it really doesn't matter. It can go on either side. But this uh, this main board should go close to the middle. And like I said, I feel it's important that you see how, how this effort goes. And I'm not cutting out just to show you, oh, all of a sudden it's in there. I want you to actually see it happen. Let me see if I can get this guy in here. <clears throat> I take a little finagling. Okay, that one's uh, in now. I'll we'll move over to the last board here. Hopefully, I'm still in the camera shot. I think I am. <clears throat> Okay, and this last one's going to go in. There we go, Johnny. Double check my center one here. Popped out. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, it's important to note that the antenna um, holder is on this side, and the arrows are showing you that this board goes up to the top of the ship and that this board goes to the front so that's what these uh, stickers are for on this uh, on this main board okay so the next step we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, put the motor uh, arms and I have one here for you uh, we're going to actually take this profile, this, they call this a profile, I call this a motor arm. And we're going to take this motor arm and we're going to install it as well. And you'll notice there's some slots for that. So I'm going to take the first of four, pull the wires through, and you just give this thing a twist, it falls into place and it just rests there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this with the motors not locked into place because when you lock them into place, what happens is the um, board 
start to pull out of the sockets that they're stuck into. So I'm going to put the other three motors on. This is going to be kind of suspended off the ground. And then we're going to put the top cage on. So when I come back, we'll put the top cage on. Okay, and we're back. And we're looking at the front of the... I'm sorry. <clears throat> the view you're seeing now is you are standing behind the vehicle. Um, obviously with a quad, it's very important to um, reiterate orientation just because... Uh, it's the nature of the beast. There's no front, there's no back, it's just one direction. <clears throat> so the first thing I noticed is that I forgot to mention to you that there is a orientation piece of uh, material here that will go on the front arm. Obviously you can see that this piece of material uh, is a heat shrink tubing. And the first thing I noticed when I got mine is that it is too long. So what I had to do is cut it down and I'm doing that right now. I needed to take about, looks like about an inch or so off of it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this arm. I'm going to slide this back on. And then I'm going to, I don't know, I guess I'll take my blow dryer too and see if I can heat it up enough to where it will shrink around this profile, this arm. And then uh, I'll be right back. Um, so I have my uh, red shrink tube on my front arm so I can tell for orientation purposes. As you can see, uh, the blow dryer did not work. I took a lighter to it and I have some uh, awesome carbon now um, built up on the red profile itself. So if you could find a better way to do it, I don't know, maybe a mono coat heat gun with higher intensity or like a, uh, um, uh, you know, like an iron of some sorts, something like that. Uh, more power to you. I took the cheap way out and flicked my bick. So we're going to take this uh, last arm here. This is the front arm. We're going to install it into the body and pull these leads through. Flip her into place. There's some pins that set in here real nice and easy. Okay, so now uh, we're going to connect our motors to our PC boards. Um, obviously it's color coded. Oh, and uh, to make sure you understand this, um, every motor is going to connect to the PC board to the left of it. So this is the front. Uh, this particular, let's make sure we're in there. Sorry about that. This particular um, motor is going to go, the wires, there we go. The wires are going to go to the left. And this, uh, in this instance, here's our uh, first set of driver board uh, three-phase wires. Um, and they're all color-coded, so it's pretty self-explanatory. If you're colorblind, you're screwed. I'm just kidding, guys. If you're colorblind, um, have somebody that's not colorblind help you plug these in. So there's a first set, and we'll go around here real quick, and I'll do all four of these, and I'll pop right.